Hey everybody, how are you tonight? This is Verna Mullen from Stampin' Notes, and this is Monday, Simply Stampin' in the Meadow. And it's been a beautiful day here today. I hope you've had a great day. I'm just gonna get my computer up here and going. I'm just gonna get my computer mute me. up here and going. Okay, I'm all muted. And um, I've got some fun cards to do with this birthday piggy set. I'm gonna move my light around a little bit. Let's see if that is better. Not so much of a glare. Oh, there's a glare there. Let's try it this way. Okay. Um, anyways, I'm gonna move this so the glare will be gone. And a few things to tell you about. Oh, the new host code for this week, if you order, I will put it in the comments below this post. And if you order and uh, place an order with me at $34 or more before um, Thursday at midnight, I'm trying to think, today's the 13th, so it will be um, Thursday, 14, 15, the 16th before midnight, I will send you um, all of the pre-cut stuff, the cardstock and the DSP and whatever you need to make the cards that I'm gonna show you tonight. And I hope you got to see my little post with our two um, baby piglets that are being bottle raised, Wilbur and Charlotte. <laughs> they're doing really well, my granddaughters are raising them and they're, they're really cute. Um, what else? Don't forget to shop Last Chance products. Um, if you get to do that, uh, there's some great deals. One of the die sets I'm going to use tonight is 50% off. You won't want to miss that. Also, um, if you're interested in the Sweet Notes Card Club for June, featuring the last lovely and lasting bundle, that's a punch and a stamp set. I'm going to grab the cards to show you. Uh, you will get the kit to make four cards plus uh, $20 worth of product. And also, uh, it will include free shipping. Or not free shipping. It will include the shipping, a PDF tutorial, and a video tutorial. And um, also, if you stay in for six months, you will receive a free stamp set of your choice. Any from any of the current catalogs. And this is the punch shape. Uh, it's the lasting punch. This is one of the cards. It's a fun fold. You also get a half pack of this designer series paper. It's a lovely in linen that goes with that set. Here's another card. Um, you This will already be embossed for you. Uh, and here's another one. And this has the DSP behind it. All of the cardstock will be cut. The designer series paper, since you are getting that, um, that will be you will be able to cut that. And also, you'll be getting a pack of the in color twines. There's five different twine colors um, in this pack, and it's beautiful. And then you'll be able to use it on the different cards. So I need to know right away, like by tonight if you're interested in that. There's different options for that. If you want the everything, the card club plus the bundle, the punch, and the stamp set, then it's $78.75. You do not have to pay uh, shipping. Option two is just the stamp set would be $64. Um, or sorry, yeah, six, $64. Just the kit is $42 and the tutorial is $15. And I will put a link in, below here for the registration or you can email me at vernastamps at gmail.com. What else is going on? Um, I'm excited to share with you that beginning in July, I will be hosting a um, Stampin' in the Valley at the beautiful Canisteo American Legion. Uh, it will go from 6.30 to 8.30. Um, we're booked right now for July, August, and September. And if it goes well, we'll keep on doing that. 
bring a friend and you can each pick three free cards from my card rack. And also it is $20 to make eight cards. It will be uh, four different card designs, two of each. And I might just, um, and then it will, everything will be there for you to make those cards. You'll be able to take the envelopes home. Also going right on right now, um, for June is the kits, buy one, get one, 50% off. This is a great deal. We have some beautiful kits. So you want to take advantage of that. All right, so we're going to start with our first card for tonight. It is a fun fold, and it's this little card right here. And I'm using the penciled, perfectly penciled designer series paper. It is all black and white designer series paper. Um, it has a print on one side like this. And I've cut it down, it's 12 by 12, but on the back, what's nice about this beautiful paper is you can color it in and use it that way on your cards. And there's some beautiful designs in it. And that's really pretty. So this is the Perfectly Penciled Designer Series paper. Um, if you uh, decide to place an order with me this week and I will post the host code, and you use the host code, um, not only will I send you the pieces to make these cards, but you will also, there's a free PDF um, with the measurements and the supplies, and that's free to, to anyone, and I will link that also. Might take me an hour or two tonight to get that done, but it will be there with the measurements. All right, so we're gonna start with a piece of basic black cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored at four and a quarter, and I've also scored it at, I think this is one and a quarter. Let me just measure that quick. Yep, it's one and a quarter. I'm just going to burnish that down like that. All right, so we're going to start adding some de our designer series paper to this. And I've got two pieces. It's one by five and a quarter. And I'm using the polka dot pattern here. I'm going to grab my glue. And this is our Tombow glue. I've just put it in a different bottle. Um, I have less problems with it plugging with this little bottle and this tip. And so I usually put it over into this. I got this on Amazon. Okay, and actually this is, um, I think I've cut this too long. This should be five and a quarter and it's like a quarter of an inch too long. And I'm gonna trim it right off. Don't be horrified. And we're gonna pull that up a little bit. Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you on there. Okay, so we're gonna pull this up about like that. And then this one is gonna go on this edge right here. just like this and we're going to bring it out to the right here leave a little bit of a space oh and i forgot to trim this okay so these should be five and a quarter by one i gotta grab a baby wipe I've got glue on my fingers Hey, Rosalie. Okay. So we're doing some cards tonight with uh, this little piggy 
or this birthday piggy stamp set right here. And I'm using the Perfectly Penciled Designer Series paper. Okay, so the next two pieces, I'm using a different design, and these are two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I'm trying to make this one, the other one was more of a card for a girl. So I'm trying to make this, see if we can make this into a card for a boy, boy colors. All right, and then the other one is gonna go on the inside here. Oh, you! I I never had that one. I always wanted to get it, Lisa. They are cute. And I'll have a PDF with the measurements for these cards and the supplies. I will link that. It'll take me a little while to do it after I get off here. And then there's a piece of basic white. I'm not going to put it in yet. Um, it's the same measurement as these, two and three quarter by five and a quarter. So um, I've used the new frames die set. What is it called? Fabulous frames dies for this frame for the front. And I'll just show you those real quick. So they don't, so they make a frame, just the frame to go around. Um, these make corners for like pictures. There's another one and there's a large one here, a little tag and here's another corner one that's not as fancy as this one. So I've used this one right here. And I've die cut that from basic black which is right here. And it has like a little scroll work at the top and the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so our stamp piece to fit inside here to just go inside the edges um, or to piece to stamp on, this is uh, two and a half by three and an eighth. All right, and I'm gonna stamp um, the little pig on there in memento black ink. This is the best kind of ink to use with alcohol markers. And I'm using the one with the blown. We will stamp them right there. All right. And I'm going to stamp on um, a little, there's a little sentiment in there that says we, like we, we, we. Um, and I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to put it right up here. I hope it's not crooked and it's crooked. Okay, we're gonna go to this side. And I'll restamp the pig on there. I love it that there's two sides of paper. And here we go. Uh, and I'm going to color him in. I'm going to make the pig light gray. I use petal pink on this one, and I think I'll use gray on this pig. It's funny because we have some that are the, the last litter of piglets we had. We have two within the last two weeks. And um, there's some that are kind of a reddish fawn color and some that are a brown. They're all spotted. 
and some that are just white, like Wilbur and Charlotte that were in the video. Okay. Hey, Margaret. Thanks, Lisa. We, um, I had my granddaughters help me do that video. I tried to do it myself, but I couldn't keep the piglets, uh, where I wanted them. They were going everywhere, but where they were not supposed to be. We'll put a little bit of color on them right there. And in his, on his ear there and his little hooves. And I think he needs a pink nose. So we'll do petal pink. And how about a bright green balloon? This is Parakeet Party. I'm going to grab the dark one to add a little bit of dark where that spot is on that balloon. Yeah, the nail polish was Bailey's. Ba those piglets, those girls give them a bath every night. And they only go to the bathroom there's they've got them in a big dot enclosed dog kennel and they only go to the bathroom on the newspaper in there it's so funny and then they let them run around the house and they have not gone in the house at all my husband always says that pigs are really clean and they are they um like the mothers they will only go to the bathroom in one part of the pen All right, so there's our cake, our piggy. Let's do a little dab of crumb cake, and I'm using Stampin' Blends. You could use uh, the Stampin' Write markers, too. I like the blends because the brush tip is a little bigger and it can, goes a little bit faster. All right, so I'm going to put glue on the back edge of this, on the very edge, so it'll adhere to that frame. Yes, I didn't realize Lisa had surgery. There's nothing worse than like having your back bother you all the time. And I hope you're in for a fast recovery. Okay, so we want, this is the back of the frame and we want to lay it just on the edge of this card stock. So the measurement for the white card stock to fit in the frame. Oh, it's two and a half by three and an eighth. Now I've got another piece of basic black that I cut. It's just a touch bigger. That's two and five eighths by three and a quarter because we want to cover this back so it doesn't show when you open the card. And so this is going to go to cover this. I'm 
just like that. Let's see. Yep, it looks pretty good on the front here. Got a little glue there. And a corner here, I'm gonna just take that off like that. All right. So now when you go to adhere this to your um, card, I'm just adhering it to this. I'm gonna run glue down the center of this cardstock here. Just like that and center that on there like that. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's do our inside piece. Um, and we're gonna do, it's your birthday. There's a little sentiment that says it's your birthday. And I'm gonna bring that piece in. And this is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Here's our, it's your birthday. And this is gonna go right up there like that. Huh. Crooked. So let's turn it over and do it again. I think sometimes I get the labels a little bit. Let's see if that, no, oh, that's so crooked. All right, I'm gonna, for the sake of time, I am going to take a strip of pink designer series paper. I'm gonna lay that across there just like that and cover that up. And then I'm gonna cut these off. All right. Now let's see if I can stamp this straight. I'm going to practice it on here. Okay, I'm going with that. It's a little, it's a little not straight, but not bad. All right, and we're gonna stamp um, this little pig that's laying down and the flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brown crumb cake. I'm gonna go over this where it didn't stamp really well. I'm doing a circle motion. I'm gonna come in with my petal pink. I'm gonna use the light, nope, we're doing a gray on this pig. Almost forgot. I'm using the brush tip. So I'm really excited about the Stampin' in the Valley at the Canisteo American Legion. And if you want to come or you think you're going to come, you can go ahead and email me at vernastamps at gmail.com. 
That'll give me an idea so I can start preparing um, card stuff. And what we're going to do, I'm excited about it. Okay, our piggy needs a pink nose. And we're going to do yellow posies. I think this is so saffron. And I'm just going to do a little dab of green in the center. Oh, good, Rosalie. I'm glad. Oh, good. Lisa, awesome. I'm really excited about it. Does anybody do scrapbooking? Because I've wondered about doing layouts or that. that. And I don't know. All right, so our pig is done, and we will add him to our card center right like that. Okay, so there's that one, and... We need a few gnat dots on the front here. Black, these are the black matte dots. Okay, so there's our little pig card. We've got that one, we've got this one in the pink, like that. This one has a uh, black gingham bow on it. Um, if I'm going to give this to a boy, I probably wouldn't put a bow on it, and I'll probably change that color to like a green or aqua. That's yeah, strip there. Okay. Moving on. All right. The next card features also the fabulous frames, and I'm using the oval frame for this one. Here's the original. And uh, so this says, this little piggy says, happy birthday and go to your happy place and stay there all day. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, so there's an oval that just cuts an oval frame in the fabulous frames. And I'm starting with a piece of cardstock that is basic black. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Let's move this stuff out of the way. All right, so I have a piece of basic white that is five by three and three quarters. And I have also cut a piece of polished pink. And this is before... This was five and a quarter by four. And so it's made, so it's gonna lay right over this like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my um, pigs in there without laying over it. Um, I'm gonna grab a glue dot just to help hold that in place while I'm doing that. And I'm just gonna Kind of wad it up in my finger so it's not super sticky. Just want it there to help hold it down in place. All right, so I'm going to take my little pig with the balloon. And what did I do with him? He is right here. You guys, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the Last Chance products. Um, there's some great deals going on there right now. All right, so there's one of two ways we can do this. You can put post it here to cover this so you're not stamping on it. You can lift it up and cover and stamp underneath, which is um, 
Actually, no, I think I will get the post-it. That's what I originally did. All right. So, I'm going to lift this off here. I'm going to turn this around and just cut that post it along the edge of where my oval die cut like that. All right, I'm gonna put this back over this and I'm gonna bring this here and cover that. I'm gonna huff on that to get the ink going again and go ahead and stamp. All right. So there's our pig in there. Now I'm going to take this and cover it here. And let me see. We're going to do this image. I think he fits. Yeah, I don't need this down here because he fits right inside there. And ink him up. And here we go. Oops, that moved on me. Okay. All right, so these little pigs I'm gonna do in petal pink. I'm gonna wipe these stamps off. I'm gonna take the light and go over them with the light first, which is right here. Oops. And nothing fancy. I'm just getting that color on there. Right, and while I'm doing light pink, I'm gonna, petal pink, I'm gonna go ahead and do this pig. I'm gonna come in with a dark petal pink and add a couple of spots. Well, I'm gonna do the inside of his ear dark like that. I'm going to do a spot right here, another one there, and another one right there. Same thing here. Do a spot up here, inside his ear here. I want his nose darker, his little hooves. Let's do, um, this is dark polished pink. Let's do the balloon a dark polished pink. And you'll find that when you use these, they will like spread a little bit. So the memento ink helps hold that color in there. We'll do a pink candle and polished pink blossoms here. And 
And let's do a turquoise cake. Well, let's do yellow. We did turquoise already. And this is so saffron. Like that. We need some yellow centers here. And we forgot the pig's tail. And we need a little green for our leaves. And we need some brown crumb cake, light crumb cake for our dirt here. Pigs have no sweat glands. And when my this last sow was getting ready to have her piglets, my it was really hot. My husband had me bring a spray bottle down and he was spraying her with cold water. Alright, so let's take this off here. and add some adhesive glue. And with this uh, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue, you just need a little bit. Don't need very much. All right, and this is gonna go on here like this. I think I got some glue on there. All right, and then we're gonna add this to our car base. You do see with the alcohol markers, they will um, go through your lead through the cardstock. So you want to do it on a surface that it's not gonna bother if that happens. Okay, there's our little pigs. Um, now we'll bring our frames in and you'll see that the frames will um, take up Uh, area along the side here. So that's why if you can get most of your image um, in the middle, that's good to do that. So when I cut these out, I got these to use on a different project. And these are the frames. We're just going to glue them in there like that. You might have to play with it a little bit to get it to sit right in there. And then the other one. Oops. I'm going to take a wipe and just wipe that down a little bit where I got that glue. All right, now let's add some our daisies. And I'm using the medium daisy punch. using the Hues of Happiness Designer Series Paper. And in color um, Glimmer Paper. I'm 
All right, so with the Hues of Happiness designer series paper um, has that beautiful pink like sheet with the ombre color changes on it. I wonder if I want to use the yellow. I almost think yellow. All right, let's use yellow. Or the purple would, Freesia would be pretty too. Oh, we'll go with the yellow. two for each one. Okay, and then we're going to do, I want, um, using the bow punch, I'm going to punch a leaf out of this. And this is the bow punch. It has like a baby's breath and then a floral leaf image. See if I can get anything. Oh, I don't think I can get anything out of that. And this comes in um, all of the new in colors, this glimmer paper. All right, we have all of our punched pieces that we need. Now I'm just gonna take my finger and bend these up a little bit. Like this. And then you want to try to alternate these. And I'm putting the darker color in the background. Okay, so let's, whoops. Let's put one here, I think, and one right here. Um, I forgot to stamp, this little piggy says happy birthday there. So, we'll see what to do about that. I'm breaking some of this off so it's not quite that long. Um, I'm going to wipe this. Okay. And I want a little bit of that black and white gingham ribbon. I'm just going to put a little tail and a tie a knot. Make a little tail like this. And 
So if you would like the card kits for these three cards, you just have to place a $35 order in my online store before tax and shipping um, before Thursday at midnight using the host code. And I will put the host code in the comments. Okay, so we need some centers for our little flowers. And I don't like that. Let me do it without the knot. See if I can get it to stay. Okay, that's better. And our flower, for our flower centers, I'm using the Glossy Dots assortment. Um, it comes in these different colors here. Do I dare use that hot pink? I think I want the yellow. Okay, so there's our card front. This is the other one. I like this these colors better, but this is okay too. And I'm gonna stamp that we in there because it's small. On this one I had stamped, this little piggy says happy birthday. And I forgot to do that. All right, and then for our inside sentiment, we'll do, oh, this little piggy sa says happy birthday. We'll do it over here. Crooked. I really have a hard time seeing it if it's straight when I'm filming. Okay, let's see. That's better. And again, I would, I'll stamp a pig in here. I'm not going to tonight just for the sake of time. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside of the card. And I'll finish it by putting another small pig, pig in there. There's that one. All right, so the third card uses uh, retiring um, framelits, uh, the slimline framelits. And I wanted to show you the, to them, show them to you <laughs> because they are retiring and they're half price. 
So these are the slim card dies. Uh, there's this one here and this one, and then you have these also. So I've used this one. I want to get it out so you can see it. And actually, there's a piece of card stuck in here still. So I've used cut. I used white, basic white card stock. You need uh, pieces like three and a half wide by eight and a half long to use this die, and then you can lay this piece on your card stock, whatever card stock base you have. And then you can die cut other pieces and use different colors down the length of it. So I'll show you what I did. Thanks, Margaret. Um, so my car base is basic gray. And here it is. And this is seven by eight and a half, and it's scored at three and a half. All right, so it's scored on this is seven inch side, and we're scoring it at three and a half. All right, this is the layer I'm gonna use on the front, and this is petal pink. Yeah, Lisa, it's, oh, I'll show you. It's in the spring catalog, and there's a stamp set that goes with it. I looked for it. I know I have it, and I don't see it, but it's right here, and this is the January to June mini catalog, this one. And here's a stamp set, and there are envelopes. Now, the envelopes carried over, and they're still available the these are the dies oops let me spread this out so this die cuts like that and here's the one that um the one that i'm using tonight so they're half price right now and this shows you those other one dies that are in there so that's a neat look So they were, the cost of these was hmm, $59 and they're half price. Now these are, usually I sell my retiring, most of my retiring product, but these I will keep because uh, they're for slimline cards. And I like them. I like the chevron look. And you could use the those adhesive sheets with this if you wanted to. Die cut it out, it makes it easier. You just pull off the adhesive. And I'm just putting a little bit on. Okay, and then I'm gonna center this on the front. Like so. I'm just wiping up some of this glue. You can wait till it dries and use one of those glue erasers on it too, which is, which I usually do, but for the sake of this tonight, I'm doing that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, the other, I cut out the same, the same um, die cut out of basic white. And what I'm gonna do is I left it right in the order that I die cut it out. And I'm going to do every other one in white. I'm going to turn it this way. Um, so I'm going to start with this.
Okay, it makes a really neat look. So I'm gonna skip this, I'm gonna do this one. Let me see if this is the one, right one. Yes, it is. Skip that one. And that one goes there. Just like that. I think this is the next one. Yes. And we're skipping that one. That one goes there. And then this one goes here. And this is the last puzzle piece to fit in there. Just like that. Okay. So it's nice because you can you can save the different frames or whatever is left over to use on another card. But isn't that a neat looking design? Okay. Yeah, I've made I haven't made a lot of slimline cards, but I've made a few. But I really do like the look of this. All right, so we have our chevron look. We got one popping up there that I didn't hold down. Now, um, this is a card, the other card that I did. And I used the pig that's riding the little scooter. And I used black. And I've got the design going the opposite way. And this one, I like the gray better, I think. So I have already um, colored this just to save time. And I'm going to go ahead and pop dimensionals on the back of this. We'll load them up with dimensionals. We've had a cougar sighting in our area. Not too, like two miles from our house, so I'm not really excited about that. And we've got a mama bear with four cubs. Um, the Bennis Creek Cemetery is at the end of our road, and she, you can see her behind the cemetery with those cubs. They're cute, but I wouldn't want to run into them and have her be unpleasant. <laughs> Lots of wildlife. The corner, I think you're right, Lisa. Good thought. I will add that. Okay, I'm going to put him kind of on to this side. I know, and you guys, Lisa said that, um, let me see if I can find that corner. Yep, there it is. Uh, well, it might be this one, actually. I had a typo in the Sweet Notes Card Club. Club. Nope, it's the other one. Um, for that uh, last day to sign up was May 13th, and I meant June 13th, so which is today. So if anybody is still interested, yeah, 
that looks better. Um, let me know about that. And let's do, let's do, I had a little black baker's twine bow, but I think I'll do the gingham ribbon. Let's do gingham ribbon, the black and white gingham. Like that. Maybe there. And I need a glue dot. No, the ging this gingham ribbon is a carryover from um the spring catalog and they are it carried over to the annual catalog I love it it's <laughs> one of my I the only other one I wish the black organdy ribbon had carried over a black organza I love that and then if you're gonna do an inside um, piece you're like a white for your inside sentiment. It should be eight and a quarter by six and three quarters on the inside. I'm not gonna do the inside tonight, but yeah, that makes a really cute card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be on Wednesday for Farm Fresh Cards at four, and hope you can join me. And I also, I forgot to look to see on pick a winner for sharing last week. So I will announce that Wednesday. And thanks so much, you guys. I hope you have a great evening and happy stamping. Take care.